ZSK TA2 controller. This video is intended to be a reference guide. What I will show you today is doing res design repetition. That is a number of designs on a flat material. I hit my information button here and you'll notice here it says design repetition. It has a number of designs in a frame, six of them here. I will hit automatic creation of new design table. I will let the controller select the formatting. I'm going to come up and select the design. I'm going to use the dog paw here. And you notice the next thing that comes up is asking you for sizes. This is the width as you're facing the frame. This is the height. I will enter 300 here. This is in millimeters. I will hit the tab button and you notice it brings me over to this measurement and that will be 350. I will tab over to give me the border from the edge of the frame to where the design should start. It defaults to 8, I'll leave it at 8. On all the corners you'll have to go around and select that as you notice here and here. And now you also have the capabilities of how much space in between the design. In this case it's 20 increments or roughly 20 millimeters. Again, if you hit the tab button, you'll go through each one. Once I am done with this and happy the way I've set this up, I hit continue. The next thing is the number of designs we'd like to have in there. I asked for six. Let's see if the computer can figure out if we can put six of the designs into this frame. I will hit continue and yes, it can do it. I will now save this button and one thing you will notice right here is there's the design number however the extension now changes to W instead of Z. I can also go and put a new name in here and I'll just simply say test and confirm by saying OK. I can now confirm the entire design it will come up and it will now be able to be pulled up from the controller and I will look for my W design. You notice in the right hand corner in the bottom of the design it has a number 6. That tells me this was a repetition design. There's another one up here that I did 6 and 4 and another 6. So and again the W extension confirms that. You notice when I move off of that, it has a Z extension of a normal design. Once I move on to it, there's my test W00. I will now select that design. On the screen now, I have the design itself. One thing to be very careful of is where the design starts. It starts with a cross. That's how it was digitized. So it's going to start in the upper left hand corner on this design here in the center of the upper left hand design. So make sure when you do frame it, and I always like to use needle number one, it's easier to see, make sure that you contour and range, design, hit the design range so it will fit properly in the hoop and that you have enough spacing on the left hand side to the center design here. By the number of millimeters you had put in what kind of hoop you are using or frame, I use a lot of mighty hoop magnetic frames. That measurement has been calculated and it should fit in the measurement that I gave it. If that is all okay, you are actually ready to design. Remember, you also need to go and change your needle colors if you wish. In this case, it's only one color. I will just leave it at the color that it is. We are now ready to design by hitting the green button. That is how you put a design, repetition design in on one piece of material. For example, if you do patches or other work, repetition.